Previously on Esther. Esther, an ordinary Jewish girl, became queen. Her cousin Mordecai saved the king's life, but refused to bow down to Haman. So Haman plotted to destroy all the Jews. When Mordecai found out about Haman's plot, he put on funeral clothes and wept in front of the king's palace. Meanwhile, Esther, who had no idea what was happening in the city, occupied herself with all that the palace had to offer. Do you wanna build a snowman? YouTube channel. Wish I went there when I was a kid. Haven't, haven't you heard? No, what's happening? The city is in chaos. Mordecai's just gone past in funeral clothes. No. Quick, ask him what's happening and taking these clothes. Quick, 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 go! He refuses the clothes. Oh no. Just why? Oh, oops, I forgot. Oh, oh, wait, I'll go ask him now. Thank you. What did he say? It's a quote for you from Mordecai. He plans to destroy all the Jews living in Persia. And Mordecai wants him to go to the king's presence and plead with him, the king, to stop this. Oh no. This is too dangerous. I can't go there. I'll be killed. Unless the king puts his staff out. Oh, this is against the law. You must go tell Mordecai. I cannot do this. Go, quick. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I told Mordecai what he said in a like this. Esther, do you think that because you're the queen, your life will be saved? If you don't do this, all the Jews in Persia are going to die. Who knows, maybe God made you the queen for a time like this. Okay, I'll go to the king. If I die, I die. God has made me a queen for such a time as this. I'll be obedient to him. Go tell Mordecai to gather all the Jews and pray without eating for three days. Quick, go, go! Without eating for three days. Without eating for three days. Without eating for three days. Mordecai did, and Esther had asked. Three days later. On the third day, Esther entered the king's courts, knowing that if the king didn't hold out his staff, she would be killed. Oh, Hello, Esther. Ask me anything you like and I will give it to you. If it pleases the king, I'd like to invite you to a banquet with Haman. A banquet? Oh, that sounds good. Jewish people. And so when Mordecai told her 
to go and plead before the king, she obeyed even though it was against the law. The king could kill anybody that appeared before him without being summoned first. So by going in front of the king, Esther was risking her life, but she was willing to risk her life to save her people. Doesn't this remind us of someone? Jesus. Jesus was willing to risk his life to save people. On the cross, Jesus saved us, his people, by paying the punishment that we deserve. And just like Esther, Jesus was willing to be obedient to God's plans and to submit to the Father's will, regardless of the consequences. So back to the story. When Esther went before the king, the king allowed her to live. So God was working in the background to make Esther queen of Persia, but then now he intervenes again and saves Esther's life. And because Esther was obedient to God, God can now use Esther as the queen who is in the perfect position to be used by God for his plan. If God has plans for our lives that are different to the plans we have for ourselves, then we need to be ready to sacrifice these plans for God's way. Because God's way, like we learned last week, is always better and it's the best way for us to live. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus and what he did for us on the cross. Thank you that he was willing to take the punishment that we deserve. So help us to be obedient to you and to trust you in any situation. And help us to submit to your ways. I pray that we'll all be ready to sacrifice our plans if you have other plans for our life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Like and subscribe. See you next week. Bye-bye.